The time is 8 p.m. Good evening. The news headline. Breaking news. Biafra agitators arrested in Benue State, BNL. The news in full. A pro-Biafra group, Biafra Nations League, BNL, has claimed that three of its members have been arrested in Jakuta, a town bordering Cameroon in Benue State. Questions of who effected the arrest, why the arrest, when was the arrest made, and for what offense is unclear as of the time of publishing this report. However, this newspaper understands that both the Nigerian and Cameroonian authorities frown at separatism. Three of our members has been arrested in Jakuta, a town bordering Cameroon in Benue State, a post on the verified media uh, Facebook page of BNL reads on Friday. Politics Nigeria cannot independently verify this claim. BNL, formerly known as Biafra Nations Youth League, has its operational base in Bakasi, Peninsula. This group by Prince is led by Prince Will Chimezi Richard, alias Prince Obuka, and Ebuta Ako Takon not to be mistaken by former deputy Ibuta Oga Takon. It also has a chief of staff and operational commander who are both natives of the Bakasi, BNL. They, and they have also recorded securities of security clampdown, especially in Bakasi, where soldiers of Operation Delta Safe apprehended the national leader Prince Will in Kank in Cameroon border area of on the 9th, November 2016, during an attempt to mobilize a protest in support of Mazin Abdekanu's release, and he was again rearrested by Nigerian police force in the same area on 16th of January 2018, along with 20 of their supporters. Many media outlets reported that the BNL is linked to the Southern Cameroon separatists, although the group confirms this and they denied involvement in the violent activities of the Cameroon. And this is the news headline saying that the uh, Biafran agitators have been arrested in Benue State yet again. And this is coming in, you know, uh, although the news is yet to verify how true this report is, but there, this is an understanding that both the Nigerian and Cameroon authorities frowns as separatism. And just of recent, it has been reported that the court has freed a, 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 a independent people of Biafra agitator, a lady known as Ungosi, has been freed by the court. Uh, for having been arrested for being a Biafra agitator. The Nigerian security forces have killed at least 105 people in the southeast this year and arbitrarily arrested or tortured scores of others. The authorities made no comment on the findings and the southeast homeland of the Igbo ethnic group attempted to secede in 1967 under the name of Republic of Biafra, which triggered a three-year civil war in which more than a million people uh, died of starvation. And the uh, analysis is that uh, just like the uh, DSS, uh, that is the State Security Service, had been able to apprehend uh, Mazen Amdekan and have been you know, arresting a whole lot of people uh, in the name of Biafra or ESN, uh, the court on Thursday has ordered the immediate release of a woman who, who was actually uh, a victim of being arrested illegally uh, since February. Where they accused her of being a member of, a, of the uh, banned separatist organization IPOP, as a lawyer also said. Therefore, the court in Abuja has ruled that the police had illegally detained uh, the lady, which is Ungozi Umiadi, and they have, and they have ordered uh, the court that they should pay her damages of 50 uh, million naira, as lawyer Ejio for Ifani also said. Therefore, you know, this has been said that Nigerian authorities routinely detain people for months or years without even charging them to court. And this brings about a particular time like that, sometimes in July, where the ESN uh, and the Biafrans has actually been warning the police that you stop parading innocent Biafrans as, as, as ESN or, the, or as killing people where in Onitsha. But they let police clamp down on innocent youths as members. Of the Eastern Security Network, and when they see an innocent youth, they clamp down on them. Uh, and this was said by the spokesman of the group, Ima Powerful, on the Wednesday, where he wants the police to stop uh, this kind of clamp down. Sounded the notes of warning, he accused the duo uh, of Imo State Governor uh, Op Uzodima and also the police commissioner Abdu Yaro of being behind the clamp down of these innocent youth have uh, been arrested and part of the press release. He signed and made available to the newsmen read as follow. 
He said, we, the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, under the leadership of Mazen and the Kanu, have noted with great amusement the desperation of the Imo State uh, Commissioner of Police, Abudu Yaro, in collaboration with the Imo State Supreme Court Administrator, that is um, Ope Uzodima, to implicate the Eastern Security Network, ESN, and the IPOP through uh, trumped up and um, laughable allegations, saying that the desperation smear campaign and media propaganda are part of their agenda to blackmail the IPOP and publicly, uh, possibly establish grounds to indict our leader, Mazin Amdikan, who is currently at the custody of the Department of State Security Service, DSS, but they will not succeed because the entire world knows the truth. The, it therefore said that we, we wish to refute the claims by the IMU, Commissioner of Police, and everywhere in the nation that the four uh, persons paraded by the police in IMU were uh, ESN operatives arrested while attempting to plant explosives in the state. He said that there is no element of truth in such claims and that the claims aimed at demonizing the ESN and the IPOP portraying the gallant security of the people of Imo State uh, and that the terror that, that the, the, the youth that they arrested are not a part of any terrorist organization. He says that they wish to put it on record that no ESN operatives was involved in any attempt to plant bombs anywhere. He says that what is the essence of planting such explosives? Who will be the victims? That ESN, which is the Eastern Security Networks, can never I engage in killing the same people it was created to defend. He said it doesn't add up. Importantly, the ESN operatives are not missing in action. They have been on their duty post dealing with bandits and killer elements in our forests and communities, pursuing the fulanization agenda. He said that their mandate is to stop the wicked fulanization and Islamization agenda, and they have lived up to that, that the purported you know, ESN members being paraded almost every day by security agents don't even know the meaning of ESN because you know those people that are even arresting because they are innocent they most of them cannot even tell you the full meaning of ESN uh, because they are not even ESN members these are innocent persons therefore the IPOS spokesman reiterated that the police must stop the clampdown and stop tagging innocent uh, youth as ESN members it's worth saying that the wicked Nigerian security agents must stop arresting innocent Biafrans and tagging them ESN operatives. ESN operatives are human beings with a conscience. They are not animals like bandits who bat with human blood. Nigerian police and all other security agencies must stop linking ESN with their atrocities, which they think they can smash blame on the Eastern Security Network or their Biafrans. They must stop wasting lives and pro public property in their desperation to nail down Eastern Security Network members. He stated further, we are aware that they are looking for ways to implicate Mazin Abdekano during his court proceedings, but they will fail. The Eastern Security Network does not kill those that uh, those they exist uh, to protect because the ESN were made to protect the uh, Southeasterners. Therefore, they cannot kill those that they were meant to protect. Members of the public should realize that the Nigerian security agencies are destroying Biafra land not only to turn them around but to point and accusing fingers on the ESN and also the IPOP. Therefore, it is a glad news now today that the uh, illegally detained Ugos Umiadi has been released and also the court has ordered that she be paid 50 million naira. Thanks for listening.